good support to you over the course of the last few years with me. So look, Sean and Mike, thank you for the introduction. I'm really keen to bring in uh, Debbie and Elizabeth to talk through some of the practical assistance uh, our, our colleagues in the police service and obviously can do, and then we'll have a, a question and answers and discussion, if that's okay. Thank you, Mr. Manrahim. Dear respected uh, imams, scholars, uh, brothers and sisters, distinguished guests, uh, chairman of the al Manar, friends, I meet you all with a universal greeting of Islam, which is peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi First of all, I'd like to thank uh, the al Manar for hosting this event at short notice, but it's interesting. Um, I wish to also thank you all sincerely from the deepest chambers of my heart for you to share your spare time with us today, to be in this brief dialogue with our mayor of London. But before we start proceedings, as always in our tradition, and as we're in one of the most prestigious mosques in the country, I'd like to ask Sheikh Babeka to start with a few verses of the Quran before we proceed to the program. Sheikh Babeka. I would be glad to make sure you want to Just some housekeeping rules. Uh, there is no expectation of a fire alarm. If it does go off, you'll see me the first person running out this room. Follow me if you wish. Uh, there is no expectation of any other emergency for doing this. Uh, this uh, event has been very graciously uh, put together by the Mayor's Office and his associates. We know that many of you are extremely busy. We've been dealing with very challenging times. We know your time is precious. We have summoned before you some of the leading voices and decision makers in London uh, to basically hear your views and your thoughts and they will hopefully take them back and share them with their teams to make London, London a safe place. I'd like to start by welcoming our dear, honorable, respected Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. 